good. All right. All right. <laughs> it's my goodness. I'm Fire. I'm getting scared. <laughs> Please don't ravage me. All right, it's Friday, and you know what that means. We filmed the killing of a random audience member. <laughs> Check under your chairs. I'm kidding, that's Monday. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She's an independent voter, but she knows Kurt Loder, host of the Kennedy Saves the World podcast, Kennedy. <laughs> He brings Florida heat to his congressional seat. Florida Congressman Byron Donald. <laughs> She's like a blow dryer full of hot air and usually in the bathroom. Fox I News contributor Kat Tiff. <laughs> and finally, Hummers are his roller skates. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> It's hot in here. Probably the coffee. All right. So before we get to some new stories, you know it's Friday, so that's when we do this. Greg's Leftovers. Mmm. Yeah, it's Leftovers, where I read the jokes we didn't use this week. And as always, it's my first time reading these, so if they suck, don't blame me. Blame Joe Mackey. <laughs> One of our writers as you can tell by his pasty countenance. <laughs> Pudgy, pale, and sad Joe Mackey. All right, sorry. <laughs> wow. Here we go. The White House has banned a transgender activist for flashing their breasts during a Pride event. President Biden initially had no comment on the exposed breasts as he was busy restraining Hunter from sticking a dollar bill between them. <laughs> All right. I know where this is going. At his, oh, at his 46th birthday bash, Kanye West served sushi off the bodies of naked women. Worse, I'm pretty sure it wasn't kosher. Cold Wait, are you booing, uh, are you booing Semitism or anti-Semitism? <laughs> John Hopkins University is under fire for redefining lesbians as non-men which is also code for professors at John Hopkins. <laughs> a woman whose remains were found in a garment bag has been identified after 45 years. Police remain baffled as the dry cleaner said she'd be ready by Thursday. <laughs> That's funny. Even though she's dead, it's still funny. Just a dark, That's sad. Dark front. It is. A Belgian prankster, don't we love them? <laughs> faked his own funeral before showing up at the ceremony in a helicopter where he was greeted by family and friends who promptly beat him to death. <laughs> Pathetic. The FDA has approved over-the-counter sale of the first topical treatment for erectile dysfunction called Eroxon. <laughs> Consumers are encouraged to combine it with their other product, your rocks off. <laughs> what a weird thing. I guess you'd call that an ointment. Topical treatments. We used to call them ointments. Yeah. But we oint didn't call them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ointments. Such a gross word. All right. As San Francisco is squeezed by crime and other quality of life issues, every hotel, or even hotel owners, are starting to leave. In fact, downtown is so unsafe, many San Franciscans are searching for new places to defecate. <laughs> Pat Sajak is leaving Wheel of Fortune after more than 40 years. When asked for comment, Sajak replied, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is when I feel sorry for our blind viewers. Very, conf very confused right now. Why are they applauding? Serious squinting. Yeah. Air quality across New York City was slightly worse last week as smoke from Canadian wildfires passed over the city once again. To get a breath of fresh air, New Yorkers actually had to get into a cab. <laughs> That's a pre-Uber joke. As the immigration crisis rages on, New York is opening two more emergency centers on the city's Upper West Side. An elementary school is so overcrowded with migrants, administrators had to cancel this week's sex toy demonstration. <laughs> yeah, it's, 
Sad, but it's true. What's, what's coming to this world? A man in the UK was busted in a park for having sex with a tree stump. He said he would have liked to have kept on going, but he was totally sapped. I didn't even, I didn't even like, why are you clapping? At least he wore a condom so he wouldn't get a splinter. But I guess it gives new meaning to the word woodpecker. I feel dirty. Thanks for coming. Yeah, this week, this week President Biden had to undergo a two-day root canal after reports that he eats like a child. He also walks, talks, and poops like his pants like a child. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Paul McCartney says the Beatles' last record will feature John Lennon's voice with the help of AI. Meanwhile, Yoko Ono is working on a robot that will destroy the other robot. <laughs> Archaeologists in Spain are expressing their excitement after unearthing a 500-year-old six-inch stone penis. Well, they're claiming it's six inches. <laughs> Finally, Pizza Hut just debuted a limited edition pickle pizza. It's all part of a bigger plan to increase sales at Domino's. <laughs> all right. Let's do... Let's do some news. The president with no brain thinks we're building an ocean train. It's true, old Joe came up with an ingenious transportation plan this week. God, I hope it's not plans to build a railroad from the Pacific all the way across the Indian Ocean. We have plans to build a railroad from the Pacific all the way across the Indian Ocean. I can go on, but I'm not. I'm going off script. I'm going to get in trouble. Get in trouble. Once again, the president says out loud that other people are in charge. So a train across the Indian Ocean, what's next, an elevator to Narnia? An escalator to Candyland? A beanstalk to Tyrus's house? You're welcome to come up. Yeah. <laughs> Meantime, you better not ask him about his family's wheeling and dealing with Ukraine. He'll get testier than supermodels when they run out of Greg. <laughs> All right, roll it. Why did the Ukraine the FBI informant file refer you to thank you question five? Why is that constitutionally five? Thank you very much. Thanks guys. Well, someone's doing their best Trump impression, apparently. I'm old enough to remember when that behavior was considered hateful. Later in the evening, Biden held a screening of Eva Longoria's new movie, Flame and Hot. I was really disappointed by the misleading title. Turns out it's not about Natalie from Facts of Life. <laughs> R.I.P. She's still alive. I'm just saying the character doesn't exist. Anyway, the audience on the White House lawn featured many Hispanics, and to Joe's dismay, they weren't there to mow the grass. I know. I know. He's a racist. On the bright side, no man flashed his breasts. I wonder if Joe knows Eva for a long time. We've known each other a long time. She was 17. I was 40. That's it. <laughs> I didn't know Eva Longoria was 70. Is he, is he reminiscent with that grab? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mm. Then later, he went in for a hug that he held a little too long. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably payback for Dr. Jill slapping tongues with Doug Emoff. <laughs> But Eva had to physically remove his liver-spotted hands from her taut torso, and it's not his fault he thought she was an ice cream cone. <laughs> Meanwhile, North Carolina focus groups show swing voters are concerned by his advanced age. Participants who backed Biden in 2020 after supporting Trump said they feel exhausted and without confidence whenever they see him mumble nonsense or fall on his face. But they'd still vote for him in a Trump rematch, unless, of course, rigor mortis sets in. <laughs> What's Joe got to say? No, 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 look, that's fine. Eva's a good sport. She just got stuck in the old Joe pincers, that's all. <laughs> if you don't want me to have a snack, don't put a spicy chicken tender in my face, all right? Give me a break, man. And I knew about the... Uh, I wasn't going to build a train track on the ocean, all right? I know the difference between a boat and a train. I just mix them up, because... Uh, a uh, boat goes toot-toot, and a train goes choo-choo, all right? I, I can mix up a toot toot and a choo choo, all right, but just don't mix up a popcorn and a corn pop, or you're gonna be saying bye bye, Jack. All right.
money. Is it possible, because I'm hoping this is true, that he spilled the beans on something really amazing? Because the worst story is that he thinks it's happening. But what if we are building a train across the Indian Ocean? That's kind of awesome. I mean, that's like going to the moon somehow on a balloon or something. Yeah, that, Greg, you, you probably bring up the, the best point because that's like some jets and <laughs> Yeah, it is. You know, we thought flying cars would be a big deal, but flying, floating, hovering trains? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's going to change the course of humanity for the better, and we're the ones who get to do it. Yeah, I know. You know, we all think that he's this doddering old man, but maybe he's a, an ingenuitive genius. If this, this is all an act. Wow. I said it here first. No Never. wonder those confused voters are going to vote for him again, <laughs> even though he's the worst president we've ever seen. Uh, 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 hey. <laughs> if you applaud that, you're just eating into my time. Uh, Congressman, welcome to the show. Does any of this really matter, any of this criticism? Because, I mean, the Democrats are going to do what the Democrats do. They're either going to support Joe or they're working behind the scenes trying to figure out who's going to replace it. But none of this, like, the jokes that we make or anything really, really matter, right? No, the jokes matter. Okay. <laughs> you you got to do this because it's, it's so ridiculous and so hilarious. My hope is that voters are like, is this guy really with us? Is he really this gone? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I can't make that decision. But to the train thing, mm -hmm. that's actually a violation of the Espionage Act. <laughs> yeah. This thing is happening. Yeah. He leaked information to the world. That is true. That's true. Lock him up. Yeah. I don't know. So, Kat. What up? Nothing. <laughs> How you doing? How's your water? It's tea. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, uh, what do you think's really going on? What's really going on? You have your finger on the pulse of politics. I sure do. Yes. Um, see, I, I really, I do get a little tired of all of the criticisms always being about his age and how his age makes yes. him unfit for the job, when really I think it's more accurate to say that the things going on with him physically and mentally make him unfit for any job. Mm. Like, I wouldn't want him helping me at Zara. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and it, it, regardless of the number that designates your age, this stuff is concerning. Like, if I were walking around the office yeah. and I was shaking hands with the air and talking about being raised by Puerto Ricans, <laughs> I wouldn't want you guys to be like, you know what? She's th 34, so she's fine. Put her on the air. Yeah. <laughs> It's not, there's plenty of 80 year olds who don't act like that. Right, that's true. Some of us, some of them are still at Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who I'm talking about, Tyrus. So, uh, I'm drinking Jack. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> what do you think's going on right here? I feel like people are jockeying to replace Joe. You had the Gretchen oh. Whitmer profile, you got. Uh, you got Gavin Newsom everywhere, including you even went on Hannity, which is amazing. Yeah, Gavin's doing the don't make me sing thing. Don't make me run. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me run. I don't want to run. <laughs> okay, I'll run. Uh, I think, you know, it's so, it's, he's, he's the green president, mm -hmm. right? So how are you going to build this train? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to rip up the ocean floor, <laughs> and kill all the little mermaids and flippers and stuff, and then... According to AOC, it's got to be done in, what, we got four years left now? So we yeah. got to get, and then with the ocean rising, mm -hmm. so our little trains are going to end up being submarines. <laughs> and let's not forget the 560-day trip it's going to be from New York to India mm -hmm. on the train. And when you get, the good news is when you get pushed out, you're not going to get run over, you're going to eat by a shark. Yeah. So that's what's going for. He is quite possibly the most incompetent <laughs> president Congressman, senator, grandfather, you name the title. He would be the worst greeter at Walmart you've ever seen. <laughs> and the handsiest. Where, I'm sorry, but even the audience laughing, where are the feminists? He just groped a woman. Yeah. That was not, that is a, A, hands off reaction. Yes, it not is. Not a oops or bring it in, brother. Yeah. It was, whoa, hey, Pa. And yeah. then kept, if there was, she almost ran out of stage. Yeah, she did. To get away from him. <laughs> and everybody's okay with this? Yeah. If that had been President Trump, yeah. It would have been, it would have been billboards outside. He's like the grandfather in Mad Men. Remember that? Yeah, he started going crazy. They put him in the closet. No, he's the grandfather from Road Trip. Ah, yes. <laughs> 
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.